my brand new grill it was lightweight but at the same time heavy uh, I made a mistake I uh, didn't ask anyone for help so when I had flipped it sideways to put the burner box on and was only able to get two of the screws at the angle I turned it back the other way to put the other bolt on not knowing there were two additional support bolts and it ended up ripping the entire firebox off so what I ended up doing was taking washers and on the inside I put washers on my bolts on both ends all three actually because it pulled out I knew it would not have the integrity to hold it now I did get this idea with the seal silicone food safe stuff from a youtuber who uh, him and his son did a really good job I compliment them for that uh, but it took me it took me about 30 minutes maybe longer uh, it is 90 something degree heat I was working outside I put the sealer in additional spots that I thought it may leak from but in my case back here in the back unlike his I actually saw light all the way through so I used that sealer all the way through it and uh, it has a real strong smell and that white foamy stuff man that stuff is everywhere so to have done it in the house would have been a nightmare boy my wife wouldn't have been happy vacuuming that stuff up anyway I think it came out okay it's not as durable as my other grill this one here I've had for years this one here I've wore out I even had to buy some grill spray online to, to clean it up because you know, putting the cover on is great at first, new, excited. But then after a while, you know, you just got done smoking up a storm. Big storm clouds move in and you can't put a cover on it. The cover's going to burn up. So after a while, I just said, forget it. I can still take care of it, still cook it up, still enjoy it. But I'm not like those guys that want to buy a grill and have it last for the rest of my life so I can pass on to my kids. I think that's retarded. Just buy myself a new one. So this is the new one. I'm about to burn on it, like it said, season it up. And uh, I like it. Uh, I will know if I did a good job on sealing in time. And uh, don't know if I'll do a video on that. But I did notice that this little chute, even though it appears a little crooked, um, it doesn't close all the way inside. This little handle that moves them down, it might change the direction, but it doesn't close all the way. I thought that was kind of odd. Uh, I guess they figured, you know, I don't know why they didn't do it. Anyhow, uh, put a little pan down there at the bottom. Everything was easy. It was basic. It was screws. That's all you needed. Screw, screw, zip, zip. And, you know, I was done. So, I have no complaints. Um, and even though his video, he talked about it flashing down here being a pain. I can see it being, I'm not going to say a pain. But if you had shorts on and you need, need to use your leg to prop it, that would be a pain. And uh, so, so you see, it holds really good. And then you got this one here. So I think it's going to be all right. It's a decent little, it, It's. I think it's going to be okay. Now because of where I live, I ain't going to lie. People say they don't steal grills, but you see that chain right there? I'm going to run that chain to this handle. Not that it would hold it much, but it'll make me happy. And that's all that matters, right? All right. That's my video. And uh, we'll see if the company can live up to its name. That one there was nice. That was almost 200 bucks. A little over. This one here got on sale. I think 189 or something. So it's about the same price. <laughs>